The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, has approved the deployment of three of the commission's national commissioners and seven resident electoral commissioners to Kogi. Ahmed Biambo, head voter education and publicity department in Lokoja, office of the INEC, announced this on Monday. He mentioned the three national commissioners to include Mohammed Haruna Solomon Shoebi and retired AVM Ahmed Mwazu. According to him, the affected uh, Rex Amalam Ibrahim Abdullahi, Professor Risku Asheu, and Emeka Ononomadu from Bauchi State, Kano State, and Enugu State, respectively. Biambo said that the three resident electoral commissioners had arrived in Lokoja earlier to join the state resident electoral commissioner, Professor James Apam, to, for the preparatory preparation to the state governorship election on November 16th. He said that the remaining four resident electoral commissioners will arrive in the state on November the 9th to join their colleagues. In Koki State, the governorship election will be combined with the Koki West senatorial rerun election by order of the Election Petition Appeal Tribunal. The total number of registered voters in the senatorial district is 432,515. For the governorship election in Belsa State, as we all know, the state has eight local government areas, 105 registration areas, 1,804 polling units, and 923,182 registered voters, of which 498,790 representing 54.3% are male, while 424,392 representing 45.97% are female. The number of PVCs collected across the state as at 30th September 2019 is 889,308, representing 96.3%, with 33,874 PVCs, representing 3.7%, uncollected. 45 parties in Bielsa State filled in 42 male and 3 female candidates, and 23 in Kogi, filled in 21 male and 2 female candidates, will be on the ballot. However, no political party nominated a person with disability as governorship or deputy governorship candidate. All non-sensitive materials for the elections have been delivered to both Bielsa and Kogi states and have been appropriately batched in line with the Commission's plans. Training of ad hoc staff has been intense and concluded yesterday in Kogi state, while Bielsa is concluding today. The Commission is similarly concerned about possible voter harassment, inducement, including vote buying, and other sundry violations of the Electoral Act. I must re-emphasize that voters are not allowed to carry their mobile phones or any photographic devices into the voting cubicles on election day. We are going to deepen our collaboration with the EFCC and the ICPC. The two agencies will continue to keep their eyes on movement of cash during the electioneering campaigns and on election day.